Hello, this is Hildron from the CC, and welcome to this Mac Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be going over the Option Key. It is a keyboard standard on Apple keyboards, and it's used in a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but it also serves a purpose just by itself when you want to use it with other menus, etc. So first I'm going to show you some shortcuts with menus inside an application just like the Finder, for instance. For example, let's say I have these folders here sample folder 1 and sample folder folder 2 and I have this image here there are ways to easily move and copy files across anything in the Mac OS however there's one shortcut that is something that some people just overlook or don't even know about it is called drag and duplicate or at least that's what I call it when you're dragging an item you can easily move it from one folder to another however if you drag an item and you hold down the option key you get a duplicate icon, this little plus symbol. So just by holding down the option key, you can duplicate items that you drag and drop. This doesn't only work with files, it works with a lot of things. For instance, let's say I have a pages document open here, and I have this shape. Let's say I want to make a copy of it. Yes, you can do copy and paste with a keyboard shortcut or a menu, but if you simply just hold down option, you can make a copy and you can make another and another and another and another and another so drag and duplicate is extremely handy another convenient shortcut with the option key is all the options you get inside the finder menus itself and this also applies to things like the Apple menu we'll get to those in a bit for example if you're in the file menu and you hold on option you can simply see all these other options that you get here for example if we have a window here we can go to file close window and it will close the window but if we hold on option we can close all the windows with a single click this also applies just for pressing the button if you hold on option and you press the close button it will close all the windows it's a pretty handy time saver in addition if you copy a file you can go to edit copy or do your keyboard shortcut you all know there's this paste option but if you hold on alt there is a move option so you can easily move without dragging and dropping dragging and dropping is convenient but when you're going through multiple file folders it can be a bit of a pain so the move here this move, this move item here command is pretty handy so it's just alt option excuse me alt command V or you can hold on option when you press the menu this also works for your right click menu paste item you hold on option it says move item that is pretty handy in addition the get info panel is really handy for getting info on certain files pretty handy however if you right click or go to your file menu and you hold down the option key there's a show inspector option so now your get info panel is an inspector that will never have to be reopened for another file you can simply click on another file and the window will automatically update displaying the information needed another handy thing about the option key is use in the go menu if you hold down the option key you get your library item so by holding down the option key you reveal this other folder and you can click that and be instantly brought to your user library on the computer there is a, another super handy feature about the option key with menus let's say you've got these windows here and you want them centered in your screen just by going to the window menu and holding down option the arrange in front item shows up you click that and your windows are instantly arranged in the middle of your screen now when closing windows, holding down option and pressing the close button will close all your windows. That'll also happen with minimizing, as you see there. And this also works with the menu. As you can see, when I hold down option, it says minimize all and zoom all instead of just minimize and zoom. So that is another convenient shortcut with the option key. One of the cool new features in Lion is its resume feature. However, people don't always want their applications resuming when you open them up. Well, there's a way to get around this, and it's built into the system. So let me just show you text edit right here. Right now, I have resume turned off for applications by default. When I close an application and open it back up, it will not resume. However, there is one small thing that will change that. When I go to the quit item and I hold on option, it will say quit and keep windows. This is the other way around. If you have resume on by default, it will say quit and discard windows. So if I want to resume this application next time I launch it, I just press this button with the option key or press option command Q. The application will close 
and then right when I go back to it, it will open up right where it left off. Another handy shortcut with the Option key is resizing windows. You can resize from edges and corners, just like you'd expect. But by holding down the Option key, you can resize from two directions at the same time. And even with the shift key, you get more options by resizing the window by constraining its proportions. This also applies with resizing objects. If I am resizing this, as you can see, I can resize it to any shape I want. And if I hold down option, it will resize from multiple sides. And if I hold down shift, it will be proportionate. Same thing with option and shift. It will now be resizing from both sides and in the same proportions. The last main shortcut I'd like to go over with is downloading files from the internet. So let's say we're in Safari here. And let's say we want a picture. So let's go to this one. You would typically click on it, go to a full size image, and then you can drag it to wherever you'd like. You can right click, go to save as, but there is a very convenient shortcut. When in your browser like Safari, just by holding down the option key and clicking the link to a file, will instantly download it. So instead of going to it and then going to a menu to save as, you can just simply option click and your file will be instantly downloaded to your computer. And just one little side thing with the option key, when you have certain commands in a menu that have ellipses after them, that means when you click them, another menu or panel is going to show up. For instance, let's say I click shut down. This window will show up. When you use the option key, these ellipses disappear. That bypasses any type of confirmation message. For example, let's say I have the trash here. When I go to Finder, Empty Trash, I get this confirmation panel. But if you want to just skip all the confirmation panels, you can simply hold down the Option key when clicking the Empty button. And then when you click that, the trash is emptied without any confirmation message. So those are a lot of shortcuts with the Option key. You can probably see more of these inside the Mac OS X Help Center. Just when you're in the Finder, go to Help and Help Center, and you can find a lot of other shortcuts. The Option key is really handy to do things like I demoed in this video. All right, that's it for this Tips and Tricks video, and I'll see you in the next one.